Hello friends, welcome to our RV YouTube channel. In today's session 25 of electric drives and control, we are going to solve some numerical problems on shopper fed DC motor drives. So in which the first problem is, I am going to read the problem. A separately excited DC motor with a motor constant of 0.6 volt second per radians and armature resistance of 2 ohms is operated by a chopper with the supply voltage of 220 volts and which has on time of 5 milliseconds and half time of 10 milliseconds. Compute the following. The first one is duty cycle of the chopper and second one is armature voltage and load current for a speed of 1000 rpm. So this is the problem which is given to us. Now let us try the, now let us solve this problem. So solution. First let us write the given data for this problem. Given data. So here uh, the type of the chopper is not mentioned so we can assume this as a type A chopper. Type A chopper provides motoring operation right. So type A chopper. The type of the chopper which is used to control the speed of the motor here we are going to assume as type A chopper which provides forward motoring that means first quadrant of operation. Forward motoring first quadrant of operation. And the type of the motor is separately excited DC motor drive which has the motor voltage constant K is nothing but the motor voltage constant which is of 0.6 volt second per radians and which has armature resistance. Here RA represents armature resistance of 2 ohms which is operated by a chopper of course already we have assumed it as a type A chopper with the supply voltage of that means the DC input voltage here Vs represents the DC input voltage which is given to the chopper is 220 volts. Vs is 220 volts which has on time here T suffix on represents T on I mean on time of the chopper which is mentioned as here it has 5 milliseconds which is given as 5 milliseconds and at the same time off time T off represents off time off time is given as 10 milliseconds and we are asked to find to find to find under first subdivision we are asked to find duty cycle duty cycle of the chopper duty cycle of the chopper which we use to represent as del and in second subdivision we are asked to find armature voltage con armature voltage va and the load current load current is also nothing but the armature current ia when it has the speed of n is equal to 1000 rpm here n represents the speed n is equal to 1000 rpm so this is about our given data and uh, uh, what we have to find so now let us try to find out the first one called uh, duty cycle of the chopper. Now let us try to find first one duty cycle of chopper. Duty cycle of chopper. So, so we know that duty cycle of the chopper del is equal to on time divided by total time period. So on time divided by total time period is the summation of on time and the half time. So what happens is our duty cycle del is equal to on time is given as how much 5 milliseconds and divided by on time is again 5 milliseconds plus half time is 10 milliseconds. Therefore del the duty ratio of the chopper is 0.33. The duty cycle of the chopper is 0.33. Now let us move on to the second one. So the first one is about the duty cycle of the chopper. So we have found it as uh, del the duty cycle or the duty ratio of the chopper as 0.33. So now let us move on to the second one. In second one we are asked to find armature voltage and the load current. That means armature current when the speed is of 1000 rpm. 1000 rpm. So we have uh, already said that it is a type A chopper. So for type A chopper, the armature voltage or the output voltage of the chopper is VA is equal to del Vs. So here VA is equal to already we found that del the duty cycle of the chopper as 0.33 
and the supply voltage Vs for the chopper is given as uh, 220 volt. So if we multiply both of them, we will get 72.6 volts as our uh, armature voltage. So our armature voltage is found as 72.6 volts. Now let us try to find out our IA. So for that, we know that for a DC motor, VA is equal to E plus IA RA. So here, let us uh, consider this equation as 1. And we know that E is equal to K into omega M. And let this be equation 2. And omega M is given or, or uh, defined as 2 pi n by 60. So let this be equation 3. So now let us substitute 3 into we will get E is equal to K into 2 pi n by 60. So let us assume this equation as 4. So now let us substitute equation 4 in 1 we will get Va is equal to instead of E the equation 4 is K into 2 pi n by 60. Okay plus Ia Ra. So this is our equation. So now let us uh, substitute the uh, values. So here VA, we have found VA as 72.6 volts, which is equal to K is given as 0.6. In our given data, K is given as 0.6 into 2 pi. The value of the speed is given as 1000 RPM, right? The value of the speed is given as 1000 RPM divided by 60 plus IA we have to find into the armature resistance is given as how much in our given data? It is given as something like 2 ohms. So, if we simplify this, we will get our armature current as something around 4.8 ohms. So, this is our armature current. Okay. So, the first subdivision is of duty cycle of the chopper, which we found as 0.33 here. And in our second subdivision, we are, we are asked to find about the uh, armature voltage, and we have found it as 72.6 volts. And uh, we are also asked to find in second subdivision about the armature current and the load current, which we have found as 4.8 amps. So that is all about the first problem. Now let us move on to the second problem. Now let me read the second problem. A separately excited DC motor with motor constant of 1.5 volt second per radians and armature resistance of 0.5 ohms is controlled by a chopper for regenerative braking. Here it is. The motor is operating under regenerative braking mode. That means type B chopper we can use for regenerative braking mode which operates in the second quadrant. With the supply voltage of 220 volt with the duty cycle of 0.6. Calculate the following. In our first subdivision we are asked to find the output voltage of the chopper. In our second subdivision we are asked to find power regenerated with the armature current of 200 amps. And in our third subdivision we are asked to find speed during regenerative braking. So these are the uh, values which we have to find. So for that first let us uh, uh, write the given data. Given data. So the type of the motor is separately excited DC motor which has the motor voltage constant. Here K represents the motor voltage constant which is of 1.5 volts second per radians. Here RA represents the armature resistance which is given as 0.5 ohms and which is controlled by a chopper for regenerative braking. That means here the type of the chopper is type B chopper which provides second quadrant of operation. That means forward regenerative braking. Forward regenerative braking with the supply voltage of here Vs represents the supply voltage of the chopper which is given as 220 volts. And the duty cycle, here del represents the duty cycle of the chopper which is given as 0.6. So here we are asked to find, to find, we are, we are asked to find, first is output voltage of the chopper, that means VA. Okay, we have to find the VA which is of output voltage of the chopper. In our second subdivision, we are asked to find power regenerated. Here P represents power regenerated with the armature current of 200 amps. And the third subdivision, in third subdivision, we are asked to find the speed N. Okay, here N represents the speed. 
during regenerative breaking. So these are the values we have to find. So now let us try to solve one by one. So first one, armature voltage. Armature voltage. So here we have uh, uh, identified this as a type B chopper. So for a type B chopper, the output voltage of the chopper or the armature voltage of the motor is VA is equal to 1 minus del into Vs. Therefore, VA is equal to 1 minus del in our given data we have uh, identified as 0 0.6 into supply voltage of the chopper is given as 220. So if we simplify this, we will get armature voltage of 88 volts. So this is about the first subdivision in which we are asked to find armature voltage and we have found it as 88 volts. Now let us move on to the second subdivision. In our second subdivision, we are asked to calculate the power regenerated. That means in type B chopper, the power will be fed from water to the source. So they are asking about how much power is being regenerated or fed from load to the source with the armature current of 200 amps. Power regenerated with the armature current of 200 amps. We know that power is equal to VA into IA and power is equal to we have found the VA as 88 volts right. Just now we have found the value of uh, uh, armature voltage during regenerative breaking as 88 volts into our armature current of 200 amps. So if we simplify this, we will get uh, our uh, power as something like uh, 17 kilowatts. Okay, we will be getting the power around 17 to 18 kilowatts. And in our third subdivision, we are asked to find the speed, the speed during regenerative braking. Okay, so for that, in our uh, regenerative braking, we know that. Uh, it, a motor acts as a generator and which feeds the power from load to the source. So the equation of a DC generator is given as E is equal to VA plus IA RA. So let this be uh, equation 1 and here we are, let us try to find E. E is equal to VA just now we have found it as 88 volts plus IA is given as 200 during regenerative braking I mean 200 amps and armature resistance is given as 0.5 ohms. So if we simplify this, we will get the value of E as 188 volts. So here uh, E can be given as E is equal to K into omega m and E is equal to K into omega m is given as 2 pi n by 60. Therefore here omega m can be represented by uh, sorry replaced by 2 pi n by 60. Therefore here uh, we have found our uh, E as 188 volts which is equal to K is given as 1.5 volts second per radians into 2 pi into the value of the speed n which we have to find uh, divided by 60. If we simplify this we will get the value of uh, the speed as something like 1197 rpm. So this is the value of the speed. So we have found all three values such that armature voltage, power, uh, I mean during the regeneration mode and the speed during the regeneration mode. So that is all about the second problem. So, so that is all about uh, session 25. In our next session, let us solve a problem on type C chopper fed DC motor drive. Thank you.